Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we'll be doing a quick tutorial on how to use the elliptical marquee tool. Now to find this elliptical marquee tool, we have to click and hold on this default rectangular marquee tool. Below you find the elliptical marquee tool. Okay, so we can use this to create an oval shaped selection and we can also add to the selection like this and just the same we can also subtract from the selection this is looking a bit rigid so let's increase our feather by 25 and this will smooth out our selection so let's try again and let's try subtracting from selection What if you don't want to make an oval selection but you want to make a selection that is like a perfect circle? Just drag your mouse while holding on shift and that will give you a perfect circle. To create a perfect circle from the center of your cursor, just click while holding down the shift and alt buttons and drag your mouse. There you have it, perfect circle from the center of your cursor. Okay, what can we do now that we have created a circular selection? We can delete the selection, like so. Or we can also delete everything outside of the selection. We do this by going to select choose the option inverse we also have our shortcut here shift ctrl i now we can delete outside of the selection okay let's do something cool with uh, this elliptical marquee tool uh, actual shape a circular shape and then we will clip this background image inside of that shape all right so we're going to create a new layer okay ensure that the layer is selected like before we're going to create a circular selection using the elliptical tool then we're going to fill it with the color white thus creating an actual shape oh by the way to deselect press ctrl D okay so we're now going to drag our background layer on top of the layer with a circle ensure your cursor is in between both layers press alt you should see a downward looking arrow left click and your background should be inside your shape You can then move it around to find your desired focal point. Our final task is to take this ball from this background and put it into this background. All right. So we're basically going to put our ball inside of a square. To do this, we're going to click and drag our guidelines from our vertical and horizontal rulers.
Now ensure that your elliptical marquee tool is selected. You can use any of the intersections as a starting point. Just click and drag to the opposite intersecting point. And there you have your selection. Let's copy and paste by pressing Ctrl C then Ctrl V. A layer will automatically be created with our ball selection. We can then move this ball over to this background. Of course there is a lot we can do to this ball that will allow it to blend into our new background but that is for another video. And that's the basics on how to use the elliptical marquee tool. See you in the next video where we learn about the pen tool.